What's up everyone, Mr. Mo here, back for session number three of the Game of Drones piloting lab. First things first, we need to get into the review. So a couple questions to help jog your memory and hopefully uh, you'll be able to answer them, okay? Here we go. So what are drones? Like, so fundamentally, what are drones? Remember we talked about this in the beginning of last session. Um, so can you tell me what a drone is? So if you said that drones were robots, then you're right. Remember we said for something to be a robot, it had to have three things, right? So it had to be a machine, had to have a programmable brain, it had to be able to move a physical body. And the drone falls uh, into all three of those categories. Okay, so what are two things that a drone has that actually make it a robot? If you said sensors and a brain, then you're right. Remember when we did the balancing activity and a student tried to push over the other student. Well, when we talked about sensors, right? And then using that sensor data to then make decisions, which is a brain. And so those two things actually are what make a drone a robot. So who can explain to me how a drone actually moves around in the air? Like what are the basic things that the drone is doing to, to control its movement in the air? All right, so if you said that a drone is changing the speed of its propellers, then you're right. Remember we showed how the drone, actually, we got it right here. Remember we showed how the drone is essentially trying to balance itself at all time. And it does that by changing the speed of each propeller. And it does that and it allows it to move it off balance, which is actually what gives us the different flight characteristics. So. Um, if you said change the speed of the propellers, then you were right. Now let's look at this drone. Uh, if I wanted to go forward, which two propellers spin faster? And just go ahead and shout out the answer. If I want to go forward, which ones spin faster? These two, the two in the back, that's right. So they go faster, which pushes the drone up in the back which knocks it off balance and it goes forward, okay? So if you said the two in the back, then you were right. So looking at this drone again, if I want the drone to go left, my left, which is this way, which two propellers have to spin faster for that to happen? Which two? These two, right? Yep, that's right. So these two spin faster and it causes the drone to tilt and it goes left. And to come back, these two, and it goes right. So uh, just a quick review of some of the things that we learned in the last session. Hopefully, uh, if you didn't remember, hopefully this jogged your memory a little bit and uh, will help you uh, going forward because it's something that you can kind of keep in the back of your mind. So whenever you see the drones that are flying in the air or on TV, you'll know kind of how they create that motion using their propellers.